Hey guys, Liquid here, and uh, welcome back to, uh, or not welcome back, but welcome to my next Let's Play, which is, um, Snatcher from the, um, Sega CD, Blind. Um, meaning I've never played this game before, um, this is my first Blind Let's Play that isn't Resident Evil, so, it's kind of like a first for me, I guess. Um, I was kind of requested to do this game, but at the same time I kind of, like, thought it would be a good idea. Um, Ripoff Productions LLC was the guy that kind of suggested, hey, maybe, maybe you should do like an LP over this or something, like blind LP. And I'd, um, I looked into it, and I think it's a really interesting game. Or not, obviously, I don't know if it's interesting. From what I've read about it, it's like a cyberpunk um, point-and-click adventure by Hideo Kojima, the, the guy from Metal Gear fame. Um, and I'm really into cyberpunk, I'm really into point-and-clicks, I'm really into Hideo Kojima. So this game, this this is my game here. This should be like the best, one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. Hopefully, um, I also want, I want to apologize. I don't know if you if you if you're seeing this, but there's a little um, green and red box in the l bottom left of my screen. That's because I'm emula emulating this, and like uh, sadly, that's just kind of like a little side effect to emulating Sega CD, it seems. But let's get started. Um, hopefully, since this is a blind point and click, I won't be like wandering around all the time or something like that like it requires a bit of, of thinking hopefully I won't completely suck um I know um I've read about from what I've read about this um like Indigo Prophecy er, the story characters and events in this game are entirely fictional any similarities to actual people places and events are co entirely coincidental unlike Indigo Prophecy this, the English version is toned down a bit so if ever if you ever see something that that seems like whoa that's a bit gross, imagine in the original game it was apparently a lot grosser. This story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. I'm already quite liking this because I oh voice acting. I never would have imagined. Fifty years later, mankind faces its greatest crisis. The appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world? They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. Got a bit of a Skynet invasion. Yeah, from what I've read about this, like I, I, I haven't like really read anything about it, but what I've seen, it's, it it kind of seems like a, a little bit like Terminator in a way. Like I I don't know if it's anything like that. I might be completely wrong, but from what I know about about it at the moment, it seems quite Terminatory. I didn't know this would game would have voice acting. Like I, I, the only game I've ever played on on a Sega CD is a. Uh, Sonic CD. And I didn't actually play that on a CD. I played like a like a PC port of it. So I I actually had no idea that the Sega CD had voice acting. Or I think I did like subconsciously. I never never really realized it, but it's pretty crazy. 2047 Neo Kobe City. Get your groove on.
Yeah, it's very, very Blade Runner esque. Gillian Seed, Jeff Lupatine. <laughs> Metal Gear? What? What? Almost. Apparently, there's a Metal Gear in this game. That's interesting. Jamie Seed. Mika Slayton. Kimberly Harn. Katrina Gibson. Lynn Husaner. What time is it? I'm not going to be for that long. Just want to get this like kind of started or whatever. That was weird. Staff, producer, Tomakasu Kirita, creator, Hideo Kojima. Character design, Tomaharu Kinoshita. Director, Yoshinori Sasaki. Assistant director, Mitsuhiro Togo. Supervisor, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy Blostein. All these, Masahiko Saito, main program something something. Some sub programmers, Hidari, da da and Albert, the scenario compiler, Toshiya. So you have all those freaking Japanese names, then you just have Jeremy. Scott T. Hards, translator. Oh, oh, yeah, apparently, um, I was reading a lot about this yesterday when, like, when I was actually like, getting the game or whatever. Um,. Apparently this is actually like translated by the same guy that translated Metal Gear Solid, so should be pretty uh pretty reliable then. Everything okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. <laughs> a junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie. I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! <sighs> I thought, like... So apparently a junker is something that has to do with the Snatcher fiction or something. Like, I, I thought when he said like, he was a junker, I thought he was like saying, Hey baby, I'm a homeless man. Subtitles. Are, hopefully, the, when we get into the game, like there'll be like an option for a subtitle or something, because that'll be kind of handy. Konami, Omni Building, Junker Headquarters. There's a lot of like little fourth wall cracks in here. Like not necessarily like breaking it, but just like, you know like, making little cracks in it. Act one, snatch. Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Um, investigate. No, look. Operator. She's a beautiful Oriental woman. Look at the poster. It's just a junker recruiting ad. It's one of those pod type reception units where the operator sits in a, in a shielded capsule. 
So I'm guessing maybe like only like you won't really be seeing that many, that cutscenes like that one that much. Like most of it will be, I guess, in text. Cause cause the voice was the voices were pretty quiet. Some pretty heavy duty stuff they've got here. This is a place maybe more dangerous than I thought. Yes, when I look at this place, I, I just immediately sense very much danger. Invest. What's the difference between looking and investigating? So I guess investigating is looking, but with more detail. Then why, why would you want to look then? It's no use. She's protected by by a shield. The shield is pr the shield is heat proof and shock proof. It's specially designed to withstand an attack by snatchers. There's nobody around but the operator. I'm sorry, may I have your name, please? Pressing different buttons, see if there's anything else. Just look at the area. Seems to be the Junker headquarters. So, okay, I, I guess I'll like. I'll get the grasp of the differences between looking and investigating the pretty soon. Oh, now we can talk. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Hey, baby. Oh, you're Mr. C. <laughs> they call me Mr. C for a reason. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> Look. Oh, so it would be amazing if there was like a an option that said breasts. The official Junker name and trademark appear on it. You're really very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. It's too bad I can't get in there. She's truly gorgeous. Jesus Christ, this guy is a bit of a pervy perv. I've been assigned to the Junker operations effective today. You just told me that, Gillian. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Mika. About me? Isn't that a bit forward, Mr. Seed? Let me tell you about myself first. Maybe then you'll tell me. I can tell you are very smooth with the ladies. Could you tell me a little about the Junker operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Bioroid Snatcher Menace. It's been overseen by the government intelligence agencies. I have a pretty good memory, Mr. Seed, especially if it's concerning an attractive man like you. Oh! We're in there. This is my first time in town. Oh, you'll, have, you'll get used to it right away. Everybody's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. If it, here, it's Japan, but if it, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, Mika. I know exactly what you mean, baby. Looks like they're monitoring the offices. The chief always monitors the, the feed from that, camera. How do you like it? I bet you like to see the office, right? I would, yeah. I know it seems a bit much, but it's supposed to protect from snatchers. What? Snatchers even attack up here? Yes, it's happened several times before. They're not stupid, you know. Could've fooled me. Ooh. I can save state, yay. I haven't had, I didn't see a safe feature or anything, so I guess maybe that might have to be reliable. Where shall I show you first? Shooting range. Oh really? Yes, our big boss here at Junker headquarters. That's his office right over there. 
Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the Chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. Aww. I think it would be pretty amazing if like this this game like has like a Blade Runner type thing going on. Where uh at the end of the game or whatever, it's kinda like up to decide whether Gillian himself is actually a snatcher. Picture of a Voss, hey? What a funny design. So he's the chief of Junker Operations, eh? Just as I imagined him. Did you say something? Or did you say something? <laughs> Ultra high resolution display panel capable of playing back holograms as well. Ask him about Junkers. Junker headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task for force to combat snatcher problem. The, the snatcher problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. We answered directly to the government's intelligence agencies. This poster is really pretty tacky. <laughs> oh, really? That's my design, by the way. Chief, your taste is right out of the dark ages. Kind of like said that out of nowhere, really. You're just, you know, tell him, he's telling about about this headquarters and stuff. You know, but oh yeah, by the way, your painting sucks. Yes, three years ago, the Snatcher suddenly appeared in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they came from, or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy the appearance of their victims, and take their place in society, and that their numbers are increasing. Sucks. A Junker's job is highly specialized, and extremely dangerous. That's why there are so few of us. I'm the Chief. Harry's the engineer. And there's Mika. Gip there's Mika Gibson. Oh, there's Mika. Gibson and you are our runners. It's just the five of us. A junker's job is to figure out who the snatchers are and eliminate them. I want you to put your special training in the military to good. Use and investigate those points about snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. A junker operates with certain rules and privileges differently different from regular police officers. Those are one, the purpose of the junkers for the the, 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 the purpose of the junker force is to eliminate biroid snatchers. A junker even in the course of carrying out uh, rule number two a junker even in the course of carrying out rule number one must not harm innocent civilians rule number three a subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates this subject is indeed a snatcher rule number four a junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. 